الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه وأزواجه أجمعين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لقتتم من لساني يفقه قولي وربي زدني علما أجمعين إن شاء الله May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase in all of us knowledge. As-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Nice to see you all, brothers and sisters. Alhamdulillah, we are starting to study book three. And we all pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us and guide us and make the study of book three easy on us. And may Allah bless us with the knowledge of Book three, inshallah. Huh? And then, brothers and sisters, uh, <clears throat> book three, the first lesson is going back to same dun dun din. Are you with me? Do you remember? When I say dun, it's marfu. When I say dun, it's mansu. When I say din, it's majru. So, dun 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 dun. That's all. We are going back to square one and learning everything, but in much much more detail, brothers and sisters. You know, after uh, uh, watching DVD 1 and DVD 2, people walk in the store, and what do they tell me? When I say dun, <laughs> they start singing dun dun dun, you know. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, they, it, it, is, it is catching. There was the one gentleman who said, I never understood this. And when I heard the song, it now makes a lot of sense to me, you know. And he started singing. <laughs> Subhanallah. So, brothers and sisters, here we are. Marfu, Mansu, and Majroor. <coughs> now, brothers and sisters, the title of the lesson is al Arab. Look at it carefully. And Wabina, look at it carefully. Brothers and sisters, you can write down English meaning of Arab. Declension. What would you write down? Declension. And bina. What will you write down? Non-declension. This is the Arabic, you know, grammar terms, which the Western uh, scholars, when they try to define Arabic, they use these words: declension and non declension <clears throat> now because i told you brothers and sisters that every time something comes we will go and figure out how this 
world was created. E Arab, can you feel anything there, Sister Arifa, Sister Maimuna? E Arab, if Alun, what is it? If Alun, see that's the way we will train our mind. Huh? So what is the Mahdi? Araba. What is the Mahdi? Huh? I will write down, brother. Huh? Araba. What will be the Mudarya? You. It will be you. Uh, you are Rebu, but we give the Hamza time off. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? If I, if we want him to go to his, his favorite spot, Tim Horton. Huh? So it's Yoribu. Okay? Now, Amar will be Arib. Huh? Amar will be Arib. And what will be the master? Era. Well, see, this is the way we will understand, inshallah. Slowly, slowly. And Ism file will be Marib. But we are more interested into Ism Maf'ul. What is Ism Maf'ul? Mu'arab. Are you with me? Mu'arab. Huh? Mu'arabun. Okay, but so we are more interested into Mu'arabun. So our title of the lesson is al Arab. Huh? See? Araba, form 4. Bab. If alun, huh? the next word is bina. Al bina, ooh, what is al bina, brother? Here it is, brother. Bana. What will be the mudariya? Bab daraba. Yabni, huh? Yabni, huh? And what will be the amar? Ibn. Are you with me? Fine. What will be the ism file? Banin. What will be? I am trusting your knowledge. It seems these holidays you are too busy. Banin or if you say Albani. Eh, brothers and sisters, fine. It's not in the lesson but I am walking you through it. Huh? And brothers and sisters, what will be the uh, ism maf'ul? What will be the ism maf'ul? Huh? Mabniyun. Huh? Mabniyun. That is your ism maf'ul. Are you with me? And then what is this albina? Master. What is it? Albina. This is your master. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So the title of the page is, brothers and sisters, the title of the page is Al Yarab Wal Bina. Got the idea, brother? Means here we have the meaning and Al Yarab means declension or non declension so there are nouns which will decline and there are nouns which will decline but we won't see the change in it are you with me brothers and sisters the common example that i can give you is muhammadun muhammadan muhammadin and against that i can say haza haza and haza again huh? so that is what we are going to study in this lesson in detail. Okay, brothers and sisters. Now, there are two sections in the lesson number one. One deals with nouns. The other will deal with verbs. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now, number one, a philosmai. In the nouns. Now what happens in the nouns? Okay. Please read every line with me. And write it down. Keep your highlighters, your pencils. 
ready to write down whatever you feel is important. Al ismu, brothers and sisters, imma, brother, imma. There is a shadda on meem. Imma, muarabun, wa imma, mabniyun. So on top, brothers and sisters, we had Arab, which was a master. And then Muarab is Ismu Maf'ul. Same way, Bina'u was master. And Mabniyun is Ism Maf'ul. Huh? It is Ism Maf'ul, you know. Something which has been uh, built. Muarab means something which declines. So if you take declension, then Mabniyun will mean something which does not decline, stays in its, in its one state of appearance. It does not show changes. Now comes the important sentence. Brother, careful, huh? Fal Mu'arabu, so the Mu'arab, what is Mu'arab, brother? Ma. What is ma here? Write down Allazi. This is the ismu mausula. What is ma here? Allazi. When you put Allazi, the meaning becomes a little more clearer to us because we are still uh, beginners. So we need to have a little more explanation. Al Mu'arab. What is Al Mu'arab? Allazi. Which? What is the meaning of wa- ma here? Which? Huh? Tagayyara. Brother, tagayyara. What kind of a verb is this? Brother Hassan? Gayyara. Then you add ta. Tagayyara, form phi. Give me the name of the bab. My favorite name. MashaAllah. But I told you to. Tabassum. Make it easy. <laughs> bab. Tabasum. But Tafaul is correct, Brother al I was just trying to, uh, you know, I, I, it's easy to pronounce Tabasum. Yeah? Okay, brothers and sisters. So that is Tagayyara, means to change. Akhiruhu, huh? where is the file of Tagayyara? Akhiru. Akhiru is the file, means the end of it. Akhiru, uh, who means the end of it? Huh? Okay, so here it is, brother. What is Al Muarab? Declension is that the Akhiru uh, who changes. Means the end of the word changes. Why does it change? Be sababi. Because of the reason. Uh, by the reason, the sababi al amili, sabab al amili, bi arfjar, sababi isam majrur, wa huwa mudaf and al amil mudaf ilay. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Alhamdulillah. Okay. So, morab is the word uh, which the end of it changes. Because of an amil. You know, brother, what is amil? Write down the meaning. Amil means, brothers and sisters, I will write down. Amil means, brothers and sisters, an agent or a doer which can be A verb, a preposition, or a preposition, or a particle. This should be very clear, inshallah, brothers and sisters. You know preposition. What does it do? 
it makes the isam majroor. So why did the isam become majroor? Because of harf char. So harf char is the amil, the, the agent or the doer which made the isam majroor. And particle too, brothers and sisters. Inna Muhammad. Why did it become Muhammadan? Who made it Muhammadan? It was Inna. So the particle is the agent which brings about a change at the end of a word or a noun, you can say. And same way, brother, verb, when there is a verb, what does it require? File. Huh? If there is a file, what does it require? File. And file has to be marfu. No other way. So then the verb becomes an agent because it makes the file to be marfu, nothing else. Are you with me? Or it will also make the mafulun uh, bihi mansub. Who makes it mansub? The agent. Who's the agent? The verb. So this is what it really means. Okay? This is the meaning of the first line. Fal mu'arabu ma tagayyara akhiruhu bi sababil amili. Okay, brothers and sisters. That is the meaning. I hope it is clear to you. Okay. You got to really concentrate on this and at home you will go and revise it properly. Uh, first day, inshallah, you will understand. But if you have little difficulty, my usual advice, brothers and sisters, don't worry. We will get it. Uh, in a two or three days, you will, inshallah, have a complete idea. Uh, fine, brothers and sisters. Now comes our example. Ja. Al Mudarrisu. <coughs> Why it is su, brother and sister? Because it is file. But verb ja is the agent. Huh? Ja is your amil. Huh? Fine. Saaltu al mudarri sa. Why al mudarri sa, brother? Mafulun bi. Why mafulun bi? Because saala came. And where is the. Yes, that is your amil. That is your verb is your amil. Fine. Now, salam to alal mudarri. Why mudarri, see, brother? Allah came. So, who's Allah? Your amil. Huh? So, you see, in here, we can see the three declension al mudarrisu, al mudarrisa, and al mudarrisi. And one is marfu, and one is Mansu and one is Majroor. So how will I define brothers and sisters? Al Mudarisu. How will I define? We know it. We have done it so many times. Fa'ilun, uh, Marfu'un, uh, or you can be Dhamma Til Zahir. Bidamma is fine enough. You, we can, uh, now you can add Bidamma Til Zahirati. Uh, uh, we are going to give you some more handouts, inshallah. Uh, uh, I am looking into it. We'll provide you some more handouts. Okay. Or if you want to go in detail, then you will say al-mudarrisu fa'ilun marfu'un wa alamatu rafa'ihi ad-dammatu al-zahiratu. Wa alamatu rafa'ihi ad-dammatu zahiratu. Fine. The same way will be al mudarris mafulun bihi mansubun wa alamatu nasbihi al fatahatu zahiratu. Or you will say mafulun bihi mansubun bi fatahatit zahirati. You can have both ways, inshallah. Now, brother and sister, al mudarrisi ismun majrurun wa alamatu jarrihi al kasratu. Zahiratu. Or you will say, Ismun majroorun bil kasratil zahirati. Both will be correct. But more eloquent will be, wa alamatu rafaihi, wa alamatu nasbihi, wa alamatu jarrihi. Very simple. You memorize it and it will be used everywhere, inshallah. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now we come to 
wal mabniyu what is this ma here ismu mawsula what is it what is the meaning of ma allazi huh? and the mabni is the one which la yatagayyaru what is it la yatagayyaru okay brother no vowel signs you can put your vowel signs tagayyara is maadi yatagayyaru is mudariya and where is the file akhir la yatagayyaru akhiruhu the end of it does not change eh? bi sababil amili the agent even cannot change anything it comes in one uniform uh, appearance that's all it has only one appearance g be sababil amili na 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 write down brother <laughs> yes nahu means what did i write for example huh? for example huh? for example chal <clears throat> ja haulai Brother and sisters, Jaa is your fail. Where is our file? File has to be marfu. It is. It ends in kasra. Why? Because it is mabani. Huh? So here, brother and sisters, morab means you can relate morab to a person who has got three uniforms. When he goes to the office, he wears suit and tie. Okay, and then when he goes to the uh, playground, he puts on a T-shirt and a short pant and his uh, Adidas. Okay, and then so when you see him in T-shirt and shorts and Adidas, what do you think he's going to office? No, he's going to a playground. And when he puts on suit and tie what do you think he's doing going to bed no he's going to work but when you see him in pajama what do you think he's doing he's getting ready for retiring and going to bed now you won't say the person will go to office in pajama or the person will go to playground in pajama because he has different attire for different occasion compared to that brother and sister a uh, a uh, noun which is mabni is like a poor man he has got only one uniform he can go to work in the same uniform he'll go to play in the same uniform if if you if he goes to bed he's go he goes in the same uniform and if you happen to invite him for walima he will come in the same uniform are you with me brothers and sisters so that is the difference between morab and mabni huh? we have been studying this bit by bit brother sister i have been preparing you for all these things so nothing is a surprise to us we have some idea alhamdulillah so how do i describe brother sisters how do i describe uh, aulai <clears throat> okay you will write down brother and sisters you will write down if you want to write down in detail okay see how ula is failun so what will you say failun no you will say failun huh? failun mabniyun hmm? failun mabniyun ala kasrati huh? because every noun which is mabni will end in something what about haza mabni ala sukun what about hazihi mabni ala kasra what about zalika mabni ala fata tilka so haulai 
mabniyun ala kasra. Mabniyun, fa'ilun, mabniyun ala kasra. And then what will you write down? Fi mahali raf'in. That's all. So it's easy, brothers and sisters. Brother Hassan, you will write down fa'ilun. Okay. Mabniyun ala kasra. And then, fi mahali raf'in. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? This is how you will describe Haulai. What is next one, brother? Sa'altu Haulai. Huh? Now, how will you describe? Mafulun bihi. Okay. Huh? Mafulun bihi. Mabniun ala kasra. Fi mahalli nasbin. Huh? Got the idea? Fi mahalli nasbin. Fine. Now, I'm sure this business of fi mahali, we are not, not stranger to it. We have got used to it now. Had it been like instead of this uh, haulai, had it been a proper noun, for example, Muhammad, then we would have seen ja'a Muhammadun, sa'altu Muhammadan. See, I would have seen it. Dan dun, then I would have seen, but because it is mabni, then I have to say fi mahalli. It is in the place of a noun, which should have been uh, dun, dan, or then. Marfu, mansu, majur, inshallah. Fi mahalli means it takes the place, you know, in the position of. So, brother and sister, salam tu ala haulai. Now, haulai uh, is, is a majroor. But it is mopani, brother. Allah came, so I know it is majroor. Otherwise, it, is, it has a kasra built into it. The kasra is part of it. So, when Allah came, so I know it is is majroor. So, how will I describe Ismun majrurun mabniyun ala kasrati fi mahalli jarrin, inshallah. Is it clear, brothers and sisters? Now I have written here something very important, brothers and sisters. Inshallah, you will make a note of it. Fi mahalli raf'in, fi mahalli nasbin, fi mahalli jarrin. Now, when do you use these terms? When, number one, it is Mahabhani. Number two, now I'm going to show you things here. Number two, Shibu Jumla. How many kinds of Shibu Jumla we know? No, Char Majroor, two only, brother. And Zarf plus Mudafili. Okay, now I tell you something. You got to listen to me, huh? I may not write it on the board. We have told you many times. Muftada is always marfu. Khabar is always marfu. Now when it is one word, we see the uh, dhamma on it. Okay? But when it is jar majroor, it is jar majroor. Huh? We know it is shibu jumla. For example, Okay, Muhammadun Talibun. For example, so what is Talibun? Khabar, Marfu. Sahi? Now if I, if I say Muhammadun Fil Masjidi, what is Jar Majru? Uh, Shibu Jumla. Now you will write down Shibu Jumla Fi Mahalli Rafa in Khabar. Because it, had it been one word, it would have been. Marfu. But because it is Shibu Jumla, we don't see that way. We see Shibu Jumla. Jar Majur, Shibu Jumla. And what will I say now? Fi Mahalli Rafa'in Khabar. Are you with me? Because Khabar is always Marfu. And same way, Muhammadun Huna. Muhammad is here. Are you with me? Or Muhammadun Hunaka. He is there. Okay, so what is Huna and Hunaka? 
Zarf. As soon as you say Zarf, brothers and sisters, so what is it? Shibu Jumla. Huh? Shibu Jumla. Zarf. Shibu Jumla. And then what will I say? Fi Mahalli Rafa'in. Why Rafa'in? Because Khabar is always Marfu. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Khabar is always Marfu. Sahi, brother? So then, this is how we describe. Now, brother, we did not do before. Now we are in advanced study of Arabic language and Arabic grammar. And it is very beautiful, very logic, logical, very fascinating. Huh? I was amazed. You know, I did not find these uh, terms uh, uh, difficult because uh, it makes a lot of sense to us. Now, only thing is, because they are new, it will take time, day or two, to get used to it, inshallah. Now, I come to Jumla, brother. Jumla, what is Jumla? Okay. Now, a sentence can also have a position in the, sen- uh, in the whole construction. Are you with me? We are going to learn more about it later. But in order to give you a simple example, brother, I'll stick to, I'll stick to Muftada Khabar. Okay? I say, Muhammadun Zahaba ila al-Masjidi. Let me write it down. Huh? Inshallah. Muhammadun Zahaba ila al but this is a very simple explanation. We will have little more complex sentences coming. But when they come, you will be more prepared to take it. And I write down another sentence, brother. Muhammadun I put a line. What is the meaning of line? Muftida, mashallah. Okay, brothers and sisters, look at the first sentence. Muhammadun Muftida. But where is the khabar? No, we have to write down. Zahaba fail madi. Okay, now I will say Mabnun ala fata. Where is the file? Damirun, mustatirun, taqdiruhu, huwa. And if you want to go a little further, you will say, Yadullu ala Muhammad. It goes to the. It, uh, indicates Muhammad. Okay, brother. And what is Ilal Masjidi? Jar Majru. Jar Majru. Khalas. Nothing more. Jar Majru. Now look at it, brothers and sisters. Where is the khabar? It is a whole jumla. So what will you say? Al jumlatul fi aliyatu fi mahalli rafain. Khabar. Before we did not use this terminology because you would have been totally, totally. Uh, Gabarified. And you would have said it's too difficult. But now, inshallah, you will comprehend it. Huh? So, what will you say, Sister Madina? Zahaba ila al masjidi, which is al jumlatul fi aliyatu fi mahalli raf'in. Why raf'in? Because khabar is always marfu. Fi mahalli raf'in khabarun. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Now we say Muhammadun. What is Muhammadun Muftada? Where is the khabar? Leave aside Muhammadun on one side. Now you go to Akhuhu Tabibun. What do you see? Akhuhu. Huh? What is Akhu? Yeah, but before Mudaf, Muftada. Huh? What is Akhu? Muftada. Wahuwa Mudaf. And what is who? Mudafili. Fine. Where is the khabar for Akhu? Tabibun. Huh? Okay, now this whole sentence, what kind of a sentence is this? Ajumlatul ismiyatu fi mahalli rafa'in khabar. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Huh? Inshallah, you, you got it. Huh? But, Sister Sumaya, if we are not 100% sure, don't worry. Lesson number 8 or 9. You know what is that lesson? Do you want to know what is that lesson? Muptada and Khabar. <laughs> Again, Muptada and Khabar will come in detail. Yes, Brother Salim? Yeah. Yes, but in uh, this sentence, Muhammadun Akhu. Who? Akhu, who? Two Muptada. 
we cannot say two muptadas. Yes. Muhammad is Muptada, then we are taking the whole sentence separately. Now if you want, you can do another way. Muhammadun, Muptada number one. Okay. Akhu, Muptada number two. And then brother and sister, you will describe Mudaf, Mudafili. And what is Tabibun? Is the khabar for what? Muptada number two. So it is khabar number two. If there is a muftana, muftada number two, then there has to be a khabar number two. And then you will say the whole jumlatul ismiyatu, khabar number one. Ah, are you with me, brothers and sisters? You can say that also. Huh? And you can say in a different way that I explained to you, brothers and sisters. Uh, we have a, a book called Nurul Yakin, which is grammatical analysis of each and every word in the Quran. And inshallah, you will see how they describe it. Huh? And we can follow that process of description, of grammatical analysis, later on, later on. Brothers. So, brother, a jumla can also be fi mahalli rafa'in, it can be fi mahalli nasbin, and it can be fi mahalli jarrin. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Okay? Now, we come to al-mastar al-mu'awwal. But we are expert in this. Huh? We, we are expert in this. For example, brothers and sisters, Uridu an ashraba shaya. I want to drink tea. Uridu fi'alun mudariun marfun bidamma. Fail mustatir. Takdiruhu ana. An ashraba an harfu nasbin. Vamastariyan. And what is Ashraba? Fialun, Mudarion, Mansubun. Bil Fatah. Where is the file? Mustatir Takdirhu Ana. And Ashaya is Mafulun Bihi for Ashraba. Okay. But where is the Mafulun Bihi for Uridu? If I say Uridu, I want want what? I have to have a Mafulun Bihi. So what is Mafulun Bihi? Al Mastar. Al Mu'awwal. Well, then what will I say? Fi Mahalli Nasbi. Now you are already used to it. So then you know where to use these terms. But remember, brother, Jumkinu ka an tajlisa huna. So where is the file for? So what will you say? An tajlisa al master al mu'awwal. Fi Mahalli. Now you will say Rafa'in. Are you with me? So you will see how these three things are explained. Huh, brother, this is very important. Fi mahalli rafa'in, fi mahalli nasbin, fi mahalli jarrin. And these are the four categories in which you will be using them. Huh? And brothers and sisters, this is very easy. Today, it may seem to be a little overwhelming, but don't worry. Huh? In two, three days, inshallah, inshallah, you will find that it is uh, very clear in understanding, inshallah. But these things are not difficult. These are easy, but it can be a little overwhelming on the first day. Do you get the idea, brothers and sisters? Did you write it down, everything? Inshallah. Keep these notes handy, because when you will stand up to teach, brothers and sisters, you got to explain all these things. Then... The students will find learning Arabic a very enjoyable, interesting, and it is fun. Brothers and sisters, we uh, go forward now. Al-Mu'arabu means declension. Wal-Mabniyu, uh, non-declension. Min al-Asma'i, in the nouns only. Al-Asma'u kulluha. All the nouns, brothers and sisters. Muarabatun. Eh? Eh? They are all declinable. If you wish to write, all the nouns are declinable. All of them. Ma'ada. Now what is the meaning of ma'ada? Except. Write down this word also, brother. 
Ma Ada means Illa What is the meaning of that? Accept Are you with me brothers and sisters? Ma Ada Illa Al Fiatil Atiata Except the following groups. What is the meaning of al-fiatu? Groups. What is the singular? Fiatun. What is it, brothers and sisters? Fiatun. What is the meaning of fiatun? A group. And al Fiatu means groups, eh? except the following groups. But in this is all revision. Trust me. 